Hello and welcome to another edition of Growth Points. Today we will be taking a look at Colossians chapter 3 verses 12 through 14. In these verses Paul offers a strategy to help us live for God day by day. We are going to be looking at imitating Christ's compassionate, forgiving attitude and allowing love to guide our lives. Verse number 12. Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. In the Bible, God's people are chosen by God for a specific purpose or destiny. God has chosen each and every one of us for a specific purpose and a specific destiny. So how can we as followers of Jesus Christ be considered holy? The Holy Spirit is the one who helps us to become holy. The Holy Spirit provides the power internally to do what God requires externally. As followers of Jesus Christ, we are made holy in God's sight because of Jesus' sacrifice on the cross. Yet holiness is a progressive goal of salvation. As followers of Jesus Christ, we grow into the people who exhibit more and more of the character of Jesus by the way that we live our lives. All this happens because we are dearly loved by God. Only an incredible love would cause God to do for believers all that he has done. And more than anything else, followers of Jesus Christ should desire to align their lives with God's will. The Colossians, they needed help to live up to their profession of faith. And they were encouraged to clothe themselves with the new attitude and behavior that exemplified by Jesus Christ. As followers of Jesus Christ, we need the help that we need to live up to our profession of faith. And we need to uh, clothe ourselves with, uh, with the attitude and, and the behaviors that Jesus Christ modeled for us. And there, there were a few things that Jesus modeled for us. He modeled compassion. And compassion is a genuine sensitivity and heartfelt sympathy for the needs of others. This is an attribute of God who is described as compassionate and who acted so on our behalf. Kindness. Kindness is acting charitably, benevolently toward others as God has done toward us. God's kindness is a continual theme in the book of Psalms and the prophets. And kindness takes the initiative in responding generously to other people's needs. Because followers of Jesus have received kindness from God, we should show that kindness toward others. This does not come naturally, and we need the help of the Holy Spirit because kindness is one of the fruit of the Spirit. Humility. This is an attitude of self-esteem that is not puffed up with pride, nor is it selfish. It is a true understanding of one's position with God. As Jesus humbled himself, we as followers of Jesus should humble ourselves in service to the Lord and in our service toward our Savior Jesus Christ. Gentleness, humble, considerate of others, submitting ourselves to God and His Word. Gentleness is not to be confused with weakness. Instead it means consideration for others and a willingness to give up one's rights for the sake of another. Once again, we look to Jesus Christ as our example. Patience, long-suffering, 
or putting up with people who irritate us. The person might have the right to retaliate, but they choose patience instead. Why do they choose patience? Because the Holy Spirit is at work within us. The Holy Spirit increases our endurance. Verse number 13, bear with each other and forgive whatever grievances you may have against one another. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. The key to forgiving others is remembering how much God has forgiven you. It is difficult for you to forgive someone who has wronged you a little when God has forgiven you so much. We must realize and recognize that God's love is infinite and His forgiveness can help you love and forgive others. We need to allow God to worry about the wrongs that we have suffered. We should not quench our life in bitter feuding, but we should live renewed in love and joy. Verse number 14, and over all these virtues, put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. All the virtues, all the characteristics, all the qualities that Paul encourages us to develop are perfectly bound together by love. As we clothe ourselves with these virtues, the, the last piece of clothing that we are supposed to put on is love. And love is this quality, this characteristic, this virtue that holds all these others in place. To practice any list of virtues without practicing love will lead to distortion, fragmentation, and stagnation. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I ask that you would help each and every one of us to put on compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. And may we do so in the spirit of love. May we rely on your Holy Spirit to help us to demonstrate these qualities and characteristics to others as you have modeled them for us. Jesus, you have modeled these qualities and characteristics. So may your Holy Spirit empower us to do the same. I pray this prayer of blessing over you. I pray that from His glorious unlimited resources, He will empower you with inner strength through His Spirit. Then Christ will make His home in your hearts as you trust in Him. Your roots will grow down into God's love and keep you strong. And may you have the power to understand, as all God's people should, how wide, how long, how high, and how deep His love is. May you experience the love of Christ, though it is too great to understand fully. Then you will be made complete with all the fullness of life and power that comes from God. Now all glory to God, who is able, through His mighty power at work within us, to accomplish infinitely more than we might ask or think. Because of you, Jesus, and the hope of heaven, we believe and we know the best is yet to come. Amen.